about three, four dudes in on it. But you know, I'm, a, I'm comfortable up there, so. It's all right. I'm on my way to the hospital right now. I'm in ambulance right now. Attacked by Kevin Spencer. He's asleep in the barber chair. Hit me upside the head with a gun. No boy. I'm on my way to the hospital now. I'm on my way to the hospital right now. I'm in ambulance right now. PD. P yeah, yeah, he caught me asleep in the chair, man. Hit me across the head with the gun. Uh, oh, you know, uh, I called him a snitch when Twisted Black came home. Hey, Jimmy, it's Harry. Yeah, he mad for he mad for snitching and me calling him a snitch. You know, won't nobody publicly call him a snitch but me. You want me to tell uh, this way? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's mad about me publicly shaming him. I guess there you go, this way too. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in as it hit all the blogs out here in Texas, and I'd have seen it all over my timeline that Charleston White was pistol whipped while in the barbershop out in Fort Worth, where he from. And you heard him say right there on the phone, they caught him while he was sleeping, came upside the head and hit him with a gun. And I gotta say this, I don't know anything about the snitch and stuff or who he called the snitch or anything of that nature. And we gotta be all the way a thousand. Charles the White is somebody that always looks for attention online at times. You see, he's out there recording himself making a phone call. That's how you know he wants somebody to see it. And he's telling the story so everybody can see it while he's recording it himself. One thing that is real, he is inside of an ambulance. He does have this over his eye. Pistol weapons, they can go a simple way. He can hit them one time and put a little gas right there, and then he can stop them from there. Or a nigga can just keep come hit you multiple times real fast and things like that. But what I will say, I don't know what's what. I don't know what's all the way factual. We in the internet world. I tell anybody this, because this can happen to anybody. Just not Charleston White. Man, stay on your pivot at all times, bro. And sometimes you can be on your pivot all the way and it can still get caught up when you slip up and travel. That's how the game go, bro. And we in a real, real dark space in the world. Niggas is getting active. You call people them type of names. You bring that type of energy out here. You got to know that's the type of energy that's going to bounce off and come back to you. Raising this type of energy towards the, everybody, especially in your hometown, where people know where you're at, people know the barbershop, people will plot on you, people will get at you, people going to try to check it, people going to try to come look at it. That's why you don't put people back against the wall that make them feel that they got to do something to you when they see you, because ain't nobody out here bulletproof, I don't care. Nigga, whether you a regular nigga, gangster nigga, all this, bro. They can get, anybody can get at anybody, bro. Anybody can get caught slipping. Not just Charles the White, not just your favorite rapper. Nigga, they catch old women slipping coming out of banks. They catch old men slipping. Bro, ain't nobody uh, uh, exempt from nothing out here. But when you're talking rough, you're talking tough, you most definitely increasing them chances. But Charles the White is all right. He on the phone talking. He up. He alert. So it's just part of the game when you're hey, popping your noise and talking your stuff. It is what come with it. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. I'll let 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. I'm on my way to the hospital right now. I'm in ambulance right now. PD, peace. Yeah, no, no, no.